Uh, Hello everybody, welcome to season 49, second round match between Tempest Soul and his Dark Elves and Dara your wuss and his dwarves. In the booth with me is Dimmy G the champ. Hello. Hello Jimmy. Hello everybody. Oh, there's the touchback. Um we got some dwarfs. Dwarf played by a fling coach? Yeah. Uh, versus some dark elves played by an Amazon coach. <laughs> I don't know, I think he's also a dark elf coach, isn't he, Tempest Soul? Yeah, he has been recently. Yeah. Um, but I think he did play a ton of Amazons. Yeah, he did, yeah. Until someone correctly told him that they would never win Chalice, and uh, maybe he switched it up a bit, you know? Mm. Yeah, this dwarf team looks pathetic, really, doesn't it? Um, he's got a bribe. But he's only got 11 men, and he's got like 3, 4, 5, 5 guard, and 3 mighty blow. It's a very, very light dwarf team. And it's, it's basically a halfling team, Jim. Yeah, it's like it's not that far away from a halfling team. But there's, only <laughs> 11, there's only 11 dark elves, and the dark elves are very light as well, aren't they? They've only got, yeah, two loners. He's, he hasn't even got dodge on the shrimp for guard blitzer. Yeah. Oh, that's a rowdy foul. Wasn't it? He's got the bribe though. Ah, oh, uh, he's got the bribe. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe it wasn't rowdy. Maybe. Yeah, I think it was quite a reasonable foul. But you're just unlucky to waste the bribe on it. He's got no bench. No, exactly, yeah. And that was a loner. Yeah. But he had the bribe. He had a bribe, didn't he? I think I would have saved it for something better. I think this is fair enough. Like, I mean, I would have done as well, but I think this is fair enough, you know, if you can just get a load of... If you can get up men, right? And then, yeah. Because it kind of has to be, because his team's a shit. <laughs> Do you remember the exhibit memes? With the, oh, I uh, love that one in nine into failed dodge. <laughs> classic. Do you remember the exhibit, exhibit meme? Yeah, do you remember the exhibit memes when he's like, "Yo, dog, I heard you like, um, you know, pencils, so you put pencils on your pencils and stuff." Do you know that meme? Mm, it's one no. of the first internet memes. Oh yeah, well, that was before my time. You could have you could have the exhibit meme with I heard you like eggs, so I'll put eggs on your omelet. <laughs> <laughs> An egg omelet is pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty funny, yeah. I mean like No offence, Darkstar. I can't I, I just I can't imagine This is a base cage. Yeah, the sidestep is, is, is a choice, isn't it? Mmm. But it's not necessarily a bad one, but like... Oh, you can chain the ball. Oh, he didn't do it. He could have chained the ball out. I guess his strength for the... Uh, and his blood, yeah. Okay. Yeah, there's not... Uh, yeah, there's not need to just max blocks. Well, he could have chained the ball out, and he's got a strength four on the floor there, and there's no guard. Like I there, so I, I just like maximizing blocks. I, yeah, someone someone else told me that the other day. Mm, pretty good. Punchy, punchy. Glorious bang on men's dim. If you want to be good at blood bowl, bang on men's. <laughs> yeah. What they said. Yeah, bang men's. Who doesn't want to bang men's? Two D men's. And 60% of the time you win. Yeah. Egg was a bit redundant. <laughs> yeah. Best thing about omelets is it's one pan and they uh, don't take long. Yeah. Yeah, that's why I like scrambled eggs. It's fucking simple and it dead fast. Easy. Yeah, super fast. Mm. I microwave my scrambled egg alone. Oof. Get in a pan. Oh, maybe I should try that. I think it's one of the only things that's better in a microwave. Wow. Well, if Dimmy says it's better, I will try it. Did you put a little, a little bit of milk in, a little bit of butter? I don't know. 
Oh, okay. But I, I will if you say if you say so, then. Yeah. When I say a little bit of milk, I mean about as much milk as you put in a tea. Right. And then as, as like a, a quarter of the amount of butter that you put on your toast. Right. Just so it's a little bit lubed up. <laughs> Nah, screw it. You know, Dimmy knows his eggs. That's... Oh, I am an expert. He's an expert. <laughs> <laughs> to be exact. <laughs> <laughs> rice in the microwave. Interesting. Yeah, I've got this new rice thing that's done in the microwave. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a, it's similar to a rice cooker, but it's not. But it's not actually that bad. Mm. <laughs> Get out, both of you. Sorry, Dado. <laughs> so the dolls are very much in the way here, aren't they? Just punching things, getting them down. Yeah, it's uh, pretty problematic for Dara. Yeah, it's, as, pro it's as problematic as toxic masculinity. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Oh, that's a nice pal. <laughs> Lovely pal. This is like a really sort of risky, like, delf drive, like, yeah. like count counter drive. Like he's literally had everything punched. Yeah. Although there's there's not tons of mighty blow, is there? No. But with no. like with eleven players. And he hasn't really protected the ball. I guess uh, that's the problem with having a Ooh. shirt for Gotcha. Ball carrier. Yeah. And he's got good penetration, hasn't he? Like, you know, that's the thing against Dells. It's like you've got to get forward. And then he's got really far forward in four turns. Like, he's, he's, bit, he's in range, isn't he, in fact? So, great, great penetration from the Dwarves. But they've been outbashed. Uh, oh, no, equal bashing. Okay, yeah, yeah we got sent uh, off, yeah. So it's uh, it's it's like you know they're still but they're kind of, they're a bit lucky to be still be uh, kind of level I guess the, the yeah uh, I mean like they took a lot of punches in the face they're yeah. like Joe Joyce mate they're like <laughs> yeah, they just keep coming <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like on another day like this dark elf team could be down four players now like, which is Interesting. Joe Joyce is like barely human, isn't he? It's fucking insane. Well, that's, yeah, yeah, that's what it is. I, I still haven't seen the full fight. I've seen the knockout, I haven't seen the full fight. Mm. Yeah, exciting for heavyweight boxing. Mm. See, now he's gone a bit, like, shy. Yeah, which is what you should be doing the previous five turns so that they're not in your half, but he's given, he's seeded all the field and didn't he try to gum him up, which again, you can take Kaz that way, so he's kind of done it the wrong way around as far as a Dark Elf drive would like to be done, isn't it? But I guess he saw an opportunity and that's why he went in early. But it just didn't pan out. Ooh. I'm a bit bamboozled. Huh. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> uh, a question? I just don't, I just don't get how, it. How, how is this safe? <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is choices. I mean, there's not, there's not, there's not like a lot. For the elves to do, but it's just—it was just weird, wasn't it? It's just like, why not put it in the middle? <laughs> like it's further forward as well, isn't it? Like you know what I mean? Like I just didn't know why. Oh my god! Yeah. It's all bizarre. I think he's being like a little bit overestimated. Of the strength for Blodge ball carrier. I feel like he's a lot more confident than he should be. Hmm. Oh, he does the skull. He has rolled some terrible dice, to be fair. Hmm. Hi! Can watch Blood Bowl 2, CCL. 
Season 49 on YouTube because of your replay. Thank you. Ah, oh. check out the moon. Yeah, thanks the moon. And uh, thanks Dimmy and everyone else who uh, who helps as well. Thank you. Very much. It's, it is cool, isn't it? I love watching Chalice. To be fair. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Like it's it's interesting. Like sometimes like sometimes you watch streamers and they they're just playing new guys and it's it's really not interesting. Yeah. It, it's just like yeah, this is a guy who's played two thousand games of Blood Bowl versus a guy who's played five, <laughs> and uh, they win. Yeah. But it is also equally hilarious when you get a guy who's played two thousand games of Blood Bowl. <laughs> Losing to a guy who's played five games. Of Blood Bowl. Yeah. I think it was Artemis the other day was playing somebody and it was their literal first game of, of like CCL. Like obviously they might have played before him, but it didn't really look like they had. <laughs> yeah, Zakara lost to someone who was their first ever game today. Oh, wow. But he was goblins and they were dwarfs to be oh, fair. Right, so. right, yeah. yeah. I've lost to an eleven percent I lost three nil to an eleven percent coach before. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my halflings would have lost to uh, Fault Forces Dwarves, but his his kitchen caught fire, so we had to concede on turn sixteen, which was unlucky. Oh, all right, okay, I believe that. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I mean, knowing Fault Force, there's always mad stuff that comes up that he just can't help. Mm. Oh, the frenzy trap! That was yeah, that, that was, was bizarre. Yeah. Oh my god, greedy banger. Like, like this is this is uh, pretty bad really, isn't it? Because this is the turn uh, to get forward. Like this is the turn to get even more forward, right? With the ball. And that was all pretty pretty shit. Two one Ds, it should have been two two Ds. I mean he's used to playing halflings. Yeah, true. He's probably used to the uh, occasional one D. Yeah, yeah, maybe I mean, that's it. He's pretty lucky if he gets a 1D normally, right? Yeah, yeah, that's it. Maybe he's got a different risk profile due to being used to half things. I mean, uh, don't see how there's any way for Temp Soul to stop him now. Looks like he's got a way with it. Yeah, I think it does. Sidestep. Interesting sidestep square. I think I would have gone to here. But then I would have been chained back. Mm. This was a pretty good. Yeah? Pretty good turn, really. Really good effort from Tempest here. Yeah. Really nice. He's probably going to have to dodge the ball, isn't he? Yeah, I don't know why he's based the diving tackle when he's put the guard in there. Like, yeah. Because you'd, you'd, you'd put the guard over on the blitzer yeah, on the right and then blitz him and then you just dodge out and walk it in. Yeah. Like, it was a really relatively... Simple score. Yep, fails the dodge. Wow. And then what was he gonna do? Like, oh, blitz. Blitz, blitz yeah, blitz, blitz this guy probably. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wow. Oh, no, okay, okay, that's alright. Sad? How can you ever feel sad about dwarfs failing? No, I think I think that was good from Tempest Salt to get such a good defense. Like kind of out of nowhere, it looked like it was done. I mean, obviously, a bit of a bollocks up by Dara get like getting there, but uh, I still thought it was good from Tempest Salt to like. Make it was about it as good as he could get it. I wouldn't even say it was a good defense. I, I'd say it was as good as he could get it. Yeah, but I mean, it was yeah, it was essentially a one in nine and a two D, so it was it was pretty easy. But still, yeah, like, yeah. I was I was surprised he made it that difficult, <laughs> you know. Like, well, yeah, the way it went, yeah, I'm surprised he's still got ten men on the pitch. Like, yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, Tempest took his arm. It wasn't the, it wasn't the finest turn seven I've ever seen. Yells get stopped. It's ten versus ten for the second half. Daka, Daka, here we go again. Daka, <laughs> my defense on offense. <laughs> yeah, I would Daka here. Why wouldn't you? Well, because you don't like the Daka, because for some, for whatever reason, <laughs> I guess I would. Oh, I would all right. Yeah. It, though. I like my players being killed <laughs> unnecessarily. <laughs> and he's even Chevron in, so like, why wouldn't you? Like, it's just. Uh... Plus, you got strength four. You got guards. Mm -hmm. You got like wrestle. Like, you got you got some tools. Well, he's not doing it. Uh, yeah, he wants to punch stuff, which is, I guess it's fine, like, you can tool of semi decker I guess. Mm. I mean, punching you know, punch over those three guards is pretty great as well, like, if you chip one, it's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Why do they like wasting doubles on size seconds? It's because <coughs> it's a double. They just want to take it. <laughs> there are some people that are like that, aren't they? They're just like, oh my god, I've got a double. Like, I have to take the double. Like, there's certain people that just can't resist. Big reckless. <laughs> sorry, I sneezed, Jim. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But they're just like, oh, I've got a double. I have to take it, even though they're garbage. Yeah, I was gutted, I was gutted mate, the other day I rolled a double, like, like I've had about a hundred Kislev skills on like a hundred teams and the first double that I rolled was on a blitzer. <laughs> 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 and I was just like, there's just no way, there's just no way that you ever take a double on a blitzer for a Kislev team. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, that's the thing Thompson is, for me, like... I feel like the ag the, agil the more agile players prefer sidestep and the more strong players prefer stand firm. So I kind of feel like they don't need the double, do the double anyway, you know? Yeah. I mean, to be fair, I like Blodge on the Troll Slayer because he's AV8. Mm. But, you know, to be fair, I'd rather have a sidestep Witch Elf for a sidestep War Dancer than a stand firm Witch Elf for a stand firm War Dancer. And I'd rather yeah. have a stand firm. Longbeard or oh. Stone Firm Blitzer or Stone Firm Yeah, oh, I think he's talking specifically about... I mean, the, the sidestep Blitzer makes more sense because he's already got dodge. <laughs> but yeah. Mm. Even then it's a bit funky. But like, I guess it adds to the equation of not getting one turn against. I mean, he could just go stand firm, though, couldn't he? Yeah, and it'd be less uh, TV. Hmm, that's the thing. Yeah, and with dwarfs, the whole point is that you're super low TV, right? For yeah, super TV efficient. Yeah. For all the stuff you get. Yeah, this is like near, near. It's nearly a West Ham outfit, isn't it? For these, uh, these, with these elves. Almost West Ham outfit. <laughs> it's it's the most horrific kit I've ever seen. It's it's pretty bad, yeah. yeah it's pretty bad. I mean, like from memory, we've got a uh, a fixed goal high elf thrower. <laughs> we had a an AV nine zombie. <laughs> we, we had a movement seven ogre. Uh, I'm pretty sure there was there's some other stuff that's really horrendous. Like, I I can't even begin. <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty sure there's other stuff that my my brain is just erased because I can't cope with having that information in my head. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's fair. But 
the thing with the side the sidestep troll slayer is kind of cool in the you know for the side like sidestep can be really good for when you're like you know the frenzy players playing around the sideline you know because you if you're here or whatever then if they hit you you can sidestep there and surf them whereas if you just like, stand firm you wouldn't be able to, you'd stand firm you wouldn't be able to surf them right so if, if, you, if he was just hitting you and it wasn't sidestep do you know what I mean? Like, sidestep side step would be better than stand firm. So, there are time sidesteps better than stand firm, and there's times stand firm better than stand firm. But I just never think it's worth giving it to the wrong way. Like, I don't think it's worth the double. Probably ever. Uh, yes, Darkstar. Artemis did a lot of. Uh, did a stream with a lot of the animations. I don't know. If you can find it on like his vods easily or not, um, may maybe somebody did YouTube of it as well. I mean, you can just go in client and test them out and make a custom team and give them whatever skills you want. Yeah, yeah, you can do it easily now, can't you? Yeah. Oh, yeah, the hard way before custom teams, I think. But yeah, now there's custom teams. It's fucking easy, isn't it? Oh, he took a plus AV troll, did he? <laughs> I guess that's the, the the issue with playing that much blob bowl, though, is you just get bored and you just want to take stupid stuff. <laughs> it's just a hop. I think the question is why not, Steve? <laughs> oh, he's rolled a one. Ooh, I hate this dodge. Because if it fails, you've got the hit. Like, you, you dodge this one out first. Yeah. Like him in case it fails, don't you? I mean, it's still just a four plus dodge to one day it with my blow. Yeah. And he can he can double dodge with this potentially, right, to get the. Uh, the yeah, with the dodge. Yeah, I guess you do the dodge first just to see if you make it. Yeah. And then if you do make it, you do the second one. And then you got sidestep on the ball as well. Yeah. And if you push, then you get the hit with this dwarf with the guard assist. Yeah. Oh no! Oh, oh no! Like, that's the funny thing, isn't it? Some people just think dwarves can't dodge. Like it's only a four plus. It's like a fifty-fifty. Like and it's and then you see people like PC who just dodge every dwarf ever all the time. Yeah, like that's one of those things where like it's it is the safer play, isn't it? But look at all these guys that can just get out and you know if if you get if you deal with this guy, then um. And that's the thing, isn't it? Like, by removing him, all these are out on twos. And yep. That's, uh, bad times. Oh. But yeah, not yet. Not yet, Sunny Jim. Turn 13, so it's, we're getting to the business end of the half now. So we've got to think about having some canoring threats, maybe. Well, scoring threat, I don't know why I said can only. So, you know, it kind of worked out alright for Dara there, didn't it? Uh, that tag it was enough to uh, cause some problems, but I would have definitely favoured going for the focus dodge. Yep. Cause just because the odds of elves running a bunch of twos is, is pretty too high. damn high. Yeah. Because there are better skills. <laughs> but are they fun? Mm. Is armor fun? No. But this is the thing, with Rick as well, there is the element of the stream, isn't it? Yeah, it does. A lot, I think a lot of it is show and stuff. Like, I refuse to believe that he thinks that some of these choices are viable. Yeah, me too. <laughs> 
because if he if he does truly believe that, then it's it's sad to know say that he's uh, he's actually a lunatic. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yep, yeah. I hate to agree with you on that score, but yep, <laughs> correct. <laughs> I don't want to believe that my blood bowl hero is a lunatic, so uh, we'll, we'll give him the benefit of the doubt. Mm. Well, that's looking really good for the elves now, isn't it? Because even if he has to go in next turn, it's still unlikely for the dwarves to get a two turn. It seems they couldn't get an eight turn. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, there's no real speed. And the problem is he's only got the one runner as well, so if he's not picking up on the runner, it's a blitzer. And then it's passes, and it's all that sort of nonsense. Who is your Blood Bowl hero? Well, I mean, everybody's Blood Bowl hero is me, isn't it? It's gotta be. Uh, I didn't know. You, I didn't know who you were Jim when I started Blood Bowl. Honestly, wow. But I didn't, mate. You were you were in Exodus doing team fight tactics or some nonsense. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. And I, I used to pop in your stream and say hello, and you'd be like, mur, mur, mur. I'm all depressed. Yeah, well, I was I was all depressed then. To be fair, yeah. To be I fair, I, I was all depressed. <laughs> uh, and I I was like, why does everyone love this guy? He's just a massive arsehole. Tell us out, you're a lovely bloke. <laughs> oh, thanks. It only took five years, but we got there. <laughs> <laughs> <Hooray>! <laughs> <laughs> Even when you're flapping, you're still my favourite. Oh, thanks. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing, isn't it? The thing you get with Jimmy Fantastic is the realist. Like, he's a, he's a man who wears his emotions on his sleeve. And, uh, like, you, you don't get any nonsense. You just get what he thinks as well. Yep. Honesty is the best policy, isn't it? <laughs> it depends, Jim. There are times when it's not the best policy. Yeah. Um, especially when you're looking at a jail sentence. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, no. Like, yeah, it, to, to expand on that, like, yeah, genuinely, like, it's... You are very good for the Blood Bowl community. <laughs> Yeah, and don't see how he gets anything on this, do you? Uh, Six plus dodging. Is he blitzed? He hasn't blitzed. Yeah, it's the dodge, isn't it? It's the, the, the runner dodge. Or maybe the, the long... Because the long bit even reach? No, the long bit's out of reach. Mm. Oh, no, this is not good. Right. Oh, just base it, yeah. It's, like that's way too conservative, isn't it? It's much yeah. more likely to get the dodging on the uh, on the the dodging and the power from the runner. It's just much more likely than this mattering. It's a one in twelve nine six. <laughs> well, he's halfway there. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> he literally nearly did it. But, um, Yeah, but it's, it's, he's got a crap team. That was the problem, wasn't he? His yeah. team was rubbish. And he did zero attrition. He did throw a few blocks, like, yeah. to be fair. Like, he threw a few blocks, and yeah. Like, on, a, on another day, he just smashes them out, like, doesn't he? he just, like, and he got sent off with the bribe, which is really disappointing, which put him down to 10. Yeah. Like, that, that stuff never happens when I play against dwarves. <laughs> no. Like, yeah, that could have been like five more guards slash mighty blow, couldn't it, instead of that bribe that did nothing. And then if he's got five, like, you know, say three more guard and two more mighty blow, then, you know, that, that could have changed everything as well, couldn't it? So, and, yeah. like, to be fair, like there was also a lot of awful Dwarven records qualifying considering Artemis took up the top three. Yeah, and, uh, that's a good point. 
uh, all like, over eighty though. To be fair, that was the thing, wasn't he? So he's all. Well, even even Tom, Tom wasn't over eighty. Was no, he? Artemis's three records were all over eighty. Oh, were they? That's yeah, all. yeah, yeah. That's outrageous. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty. They might have all been over eighty-one, in fact. <laughs> I think Dio was about eighty-one. So yeah. He didn't take him, did he? Yeah, he didn't take him. He took the pearls. Yeah. Yeah, Tom says was 10th Dwarfs, yeah. But, you know, like, the, all of Arts were over 80, I'm, I'm, I'm sure. Oh, Dio! Dio lost to these Dwarfs, didn't he? Did he? Yeah, yeah, first round. Well, there you go. Um, it was 3-2. It, it was a belt again. But, yeah, sorry, go on. Thanks yeah. for watching. Everybody <laughs> like and subscribe and stay fantastic. Is that is that what my voice sounds like to me? <laughs> God, I hope not. Um, yeah, <laughs> thanks, Dimmy. Thanks for watching, everyone. Uh, congratulations to Tempest, Tempest Soul, Soul. <laughs> and commiserations to Dowry. It was I totally remembered both of competitors in that match. And thank you, Dimmy, for the core commentary. Glorious as always. Don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs> and stay fantastic, you dickhead, Dimmy. <laughs> <laughs>